the issue of COVID affects us all. I had recently accepted a job as the director for the Center for Healthy Aging. We were aware at the time of the very, very real threat to people in assisted living and in nursing homes because they represented the most vulnerable. We started testing these staff and it turned it out there was a large number of them that were not experiencing symptoms, but in fact were positive. So this was way before asymptomatic infection was even recognized. And so we were trying to figure out, okay, well now if we isolate you, can we then diminish the number of new infections and save lives? And, and the answer was yes, indeed we could. And I think one of the big things we've learned from this is that it's really imperative that public health agencies partner with academics and other research scientists to ensure that whatever their response and policy that they're creating is informed by science because we know the science changed it's often at the intersections of disciplines that the answers to the world's greatest challenges occur. This meeting is one of those examples that we've brought people from all over the world, from every discipline, to focus on issues surrounding musculoskeletal disease, regenerative medicine, and aging. And it's that interdisciplinarity that brings strength to every collaboration. And I think that's what the spirit of this meeting is all about.